Hello learners, my name is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our grade 4 mathematics activities for today, we are on all numbers. And today we are working on factors and divisors of numbers up to 50. Factors and divisors of numbers up to 50. And in our lesson for today, before we move further, we can rewind ourselves on rounding off of numbers, how we rounded off numbers, either upwards to the nearest tens, upwards or downwards, you can remember that one, you can recall it, how we did it. And for today, in our pairs, you can observe what I have in my pot. You can observe what I have in my pot. And in my pot, I have what in your pairs, Victoria, what do I have? Yes, I have some balls. These are balls and I have six of them with me. These are balls that I have. And I would request in our groups, we arrange them. We come with different patterns as many as we can. So can we try to arrange these balls to come up with patterns? So the first pattern you can arrange, come with a pattern pattern that you've come with like that one that is a pattern so we have a boss one let us count one two three four five six so this is a pattern you have come up with another pattern you can come up with you can either decide to come up with a pattern like that so this one this becomes now our new pattern let me make it a bit better that is a pattern you have come up with. Our balls are in twos. That is a pattern we have maneuvered to come up with. One, two, one, two, one, two. So we have pattern of twos, which have arranged in three. So we have a pattern like this. The first one, they are one line of six balls. The second pattern we have is Boss into two, but we have three pairs. The first one was just one pair of six balls. But now what we have on the table is two pa uh, uh, three pairs of two balls each. That is the second pattern. Another pattern we can have. We can make, yes, we can still make another pattern. Another pattern can be like this. A pattern of... Like this, we have how many, how many pairs? One pair, second pair, third pair. And each pair has how many balls? Two balls, that is correct. So that we can also, right here, we have also another pair of three balls in twos. Three balls into twos. So all the balls were six. So we say, we had one pair, we had one line, just a single line of one line of six balls. So this one gave us, they were just six the way they were. The second one was two balls each pair with three pairs. And we also get six balls. The third one, they were three balls of how many pairs? Two pairs. And this has also given us six. Aha, uh -huh. now class, what do we understand by this? What can we say is this one? We say this, all these numbers, we have one, we have two, we have three, and the six itself. These we call them factors of number six. They are factors of number six. They are factors of number six. So what are factors? In our groups, can we check in our dictionary? What is the meaning of factors or divisors? Factors or divisors. We say a factor or a divisor. From our dictionary, what have you seen? What have you checked as the meaning? Factor or a divisor is a number that 
divides another number without a reminder. A number, a factor or a divisor is a number which divides another number. Divides another number without a reminder. Without a reminder. There is no reminder in this. A factor or a divisor, they mean the same. A factor or a divisor is a number. You can either divide or you multiply it without a reminder. For example, in our case, the total balls are six. We arrange them in a single line. The line adds six balls. So we took one, you multiply it by six, you get only six. We also had six balls, but we arranged them in twos and we had three pairs. So three, you multiply by six, you get what? See, you multiply by three, you get six. We had also three balls of two pairs. And when you multiply them, you give us six. So we have said a divisor or a factor is a number that can divide a number without a reminder. So in our case, if we take six, you divide it by one, you get six. There is no reminder. If you take two, a uh, six, sorry, you divide it by two, you'll get three without a reminder. If you get six again, you divide it by three, you'll get two without a reminder. Even the six is itself. Take six, divide by six, you'll get one. There is no reminder. So all these, now we call them factors. Factors of six are now we will say factors of 6 from our example. Factors of 6 of number 6 are we had 1, we had 2, 3, and 6 itself. So these are the factors of this number. These are the factors of that number. The number that can divide itself, that can divide another number without a reminder. Now in our groups, I would want us to tackle this. We see whether we'll understand. Can we check at the factors of this number? We have factors of number 16. Factors of 16. Of 16. What are the factors of 16? And before we check on the factors of 16, we can still add more balls and we see how we'll come with it. In our shop, we have so many balls, so we can bring more balls on board. We can have more balls on board for our exercise. We have more balls for our exercise. We have said we have 16 of them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And we want to arrange them so that we can come up with factors or divisors of 16. Factors or divisors of 16. Numbers which when you divide or you multiply by those numbers, you can divide number 16 without a reminder. You can divide number 16 without a reminder. In our case here, 16 boss, we can decide to arrange them in groups of fours, we see. So we have one ball, second one, third one, and fourth one. These are four balls. Another group, one, two, three, and four. Another group, we can have one, two, three, and four. And another group of one, two, three, four. So we say we have how many groups? Four groups of four balls each. So we have four groups of four balls each and this one will give us 16 remember we should not have a reminder so here we don't have any reminder another group we can come up with or pattern we can come up with in our groups kindly make sure you share we can also come up with this as a group a group of eight balls we can arrange them we see whether we will have also a reminder this is another group also we have how many in this group? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This other group, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 8 has also been a, a, a factor there. So we have 8, but how many groups of 8? We have only two groups of 8 to give us 16. This is another group. We can still have more. Maybe we arrange them to become one. This is a, a one entire group. So you can arrange them to make one straight line. So we'll also have another group here. Another group of balls. So you take 16, you divide by, its, by, by one, you get 16. There is no reminder there. When we try to count our balls, our balls are giving us 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But in a single line. So we say 1, you multiply by that 16 itself, you get 16. Or 16, you divide by 1, you get 16. There is no reminder. So class, can we try now to analyze the factors of number 16? The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 itself. Those becomes the factors of digit 16 or number 16. Are we together? Let us try a task for us all to do, a task for us all. A task for us all to do. A task for us all to do. You can still use more balls, counters, so that you can come up with the same, same answer. A task for us to do. A task. And our task, remember we are looking for divisors and factors. Numbers which can divide another number without a reminder. Numbers which can divide another number without a reminder. And in our next example, factors of six, we've seen them, they are one, two, three, and six. Factors of 16 are one, two, four, eight, and 16. Now, what is the answer for this one? I have a gap here, I multiply by eight to get 16. I've gone back to our example. What will I put here so that I get 16? And from our example there, we had digit two. Number two fits there. Now, class, kindly solve this one. Two, I multiply by what to get 18. What will be the answer for this one? This is the task number one. Another task for us to do, another task for us to do, which number do I multiply here? To get 14. That is another task. Task number three for us we do, which number do I multiply here? That is task number three. To get 20. That is the task I've given. Two, you multiply by what to get 18. So we are looking for the factor, the other factor of 18. When I use it with two, I will get 18. The other factor to get 14, of, or the other factor of 14, which when I use it with two, I'll get 14. The other factor of 20, when I use it with two, I'll, I'll get 20. And the last activity, can you kindly check for the factors of these numbers? The other activity, this was activity A. This was activity A. I have activity B. What are the divisors of these numbers? The divisors. What are the divisors? Let me write and write on the other side. This side looks small. You can rub here and write on the other side well. What are that is assignment B or task B? What are the 
divisors of of one thirty two is fifteen, and the last one is number forty eight. Look for these divisors. Which numbers can divide these numbers without a reminder? The same way you've done on the other side. Class, when you go home, kindly involve your parents. You can involve your parents and come up with as many numbers as you can. Look for their divisors. For example, how many pairs of clothes do you have? Hard, the other pairs of socks do you have? Put them together and then look for the divisors. Are the numbers that you've gotten from the addition of the socks and clothing are divisible by two without a reminder? They can be divided by two. And then you come up with the factors of those numbers. You can also count the spoons and look for their divisors or their factors. Count the plates. Look for their factors. You can also count the walls of your house and come up with the divisors of the number of walls that you have in your house. Some of us, we keep animals. You can count the chicken. How many chicks does your chicken have? Can you come with the divisors of all factors of those numbers you've gotten? This marks the end of our lesson for today. Hope you've enjoyed.